Extreme 3D Teapot and Teacup Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be making an Alice in Wonderland theme design. This is the second uh, 3D video and the third overall video in this little mini series I have. And so for this one it's going to be Mad Hatter Tea Party. And so if you look at the nail from the side it's got a little teacup and then a stream of tea coming up with a floating teapot above it that is just pouring it in midair. And I love tea. I drink tea all the time. It's like my favorite food. And so I was so happy to make this and I had so much fun. And I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos and future Alice themed designs as well. So to begin with, I missed the first step, but I just applied like a shimmery white to the background acrylic and then I'm going to be encasing that with a layer of clear acrylic. Uh, it's pretty basic, just a little overlay, nothing too exciting. If I was to miss a step, that would definitely be the step to miss, which is a good thing. Sometimes my camera does its own has its own mind. So then I filed it with a 180 grit file just to smooth it out, make sure it's nice and perfect. And then I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer and curing that. So now to make the teacup, I started with a pea-sized bit of some poster putty, but you could also use polymer clay. And I wrapped that with some plastic wrap, really, really tight. So then with a lilac color acrylic, I'm going to go through and just cover up the roundest part of this little form that I've kind of created with the poster putty and the saran wrap. So I'm just going to cover that up and then I'm going to let that set, holding it in place until it is set because as soon as you let go, that plastic wrap sort of unfurls and goes crazy and that will mess with your acrylic and make it much less smooth. And make sure that you generously apply this acrylic because it seems it spreads out so easy that it's it's really easy to get thin patches. So just make sure that any area that seems like it doesn't have quite enough acrylic, you just add a little extra. So then after that's set, you can take out the little bit of poster putty and then peel out the plastic wrap. It should come out relatively easily. And then I'm going to just file it a little bit. So I'm going to file that top edge so it's nice and smooth. And then file just around the around it just a little bit. It was pretty much smooth, but just perfect, perfect it a little bit. Make sure that any weird bumps get removed at this point just like that. Like I said, it was pretty good, but nothing, you know, you can always fix things up a little more. So then on a nail form backing, I'm going to place down a bead of that lilac color and I'm just going to let that spread on its own. And then I'm going to set down that little basin that we have. So this is going to create that little bottom to the teacup. Then to create the handle, just place down another bead of that acrylic and then form it into a C. So just keep pushing and pulling it until it's got the nice size and the thickness and everything that you want. So just keep working it and eventually it will it. On a nail form backing, it likes to spread out, so it doesn't usually get to the shape you want until it starts setting just a little bit. And then once that is done, I'm just going to take and I'm going to file the inside of the teacup, make that nice and round with my e-file. And this is like an under the nail cleaner bit. So I'm just going to smooth that out just a little bit. It's hard to get that inside because the plastic wrap sort of has its makes its own wrinkles and stuff, so you got to file those out. And then just make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to be attaching the handle to my teacup on the side that is the least smooth. So I picked the side that I liked the least to attach the handle. And I put down two teeny tiny beads of that lilac color, then picked up the handle, set that down in there, try to get it as straight as possible, which when you're looking around a camera is not as easy said as done, or done as said, or you know. You know. And then I'm going to be covering up that little teacup or the little handle with another layer of that lilac color, make sure it's nice and rounded, and then also securing the little attach areas with some more to make sure it's good and strong, and then glue that onto the nail right about in the center, which is with some nail glue, then put nail glue in the center of the cup and glue on a piece of wire. So that wire should go perpendicular with the nail straight up and out, just like that. And you might have to hold that for a little bit just to make sure that glue is set. And then after it's strong enough to hold it for a little bit of time, then just fill in the bottom of that teacup with some clear acrylic because that's really going to give you some strength. So now I'm taking about a blueberry sized piece of poster putty, once again wrapping that as tight as possible in the plastic wrap just like so. And I'm going to be covering up half of it once again, but this time I'm going to be using more of like an eggplant color. And this is the same color that I used in the background of my the um, Alice nail and the lilac color I used on my Cheshire Cat nail. So I figured that all kind of goes together, even though this isn't distinctly Alice in Wonderland when you look at it. With the color scheme, it kind of does still give you the essence and it goes with the other nails when you have them all together. So I'm going to be covering this up and I, like I said, it's halfway, but instead of being halfway around it, it's halfway like down the side. And so then I'm just going to add it like that and try to get it as close around the edge as you can with it still being able to be removed and not touching your skin. So then I'm going to just 
peel that off, take that out, and then take that same little bit of poster putty we had, same size, same piece, and then re-wrap it up in the plastic wrap, and then add another layer of that eggplant colored acrylic over the top. So you're making two sides like this, and you want them to be about the same size and shape. Uh, they don't have to be perfect. There's going to be quite a bit more going on with them, so if they look a little funny at the moment, that's okay. So then fit them together as best as you can, and then I'm putting a piece of poster putty inside, and then holding them together with a dotting tool. Now this was not very secure as you can see it's not holding quite so well so I'm just going to take and I'm going to be holding it carefully with fingers and trying not once again to get any of the acrylic on my skin but just secure them together so that they're not going to fall apart or separate and then I'll add a little bit more acrylic to the other side and like I said there's a lot more going on the tea pot was a lot more work than the teacup was so I'm going to be just I set that against a nail form backing just so that I wasn't touching that wet acrylic with my skin you could also wear a pair of gloves that would definitely help the issue out a little bit but I would have had to get up to get the gloves and I was kind of in a zone so I just may do so then on a nail form backing I'm going to create the lid so I'm going to first put down a bead of that same color acrylic and then I'm going to make sure it's a nice circle about the cut the size that I want the lid to be push in the sides a little bit so it's a nice circle like I said and then set another bead down and then I'm going to push in these sides and kind of like tuck them underneath we're trying to create a sphere here which is a little bit interesting on a nail form backing so you pretty much have to keep pushing in the sides until that acrylic is set so just keep playing with it as you can see the longer you do this the more it becomes more spherical and so I'm just going to leave that be for a second I'm going to be working on the handle of my teapot so I'm going to set down another bead of that color and these are all about the same size and I'm going to push the tip of my brush into that and once again form a C shape just like you did for the teacup handle and then instead of making it a C shape I'm going to almost make it more of an ear shape so it's got because the teapots have a little different shape than a teacup does so just form that just like so so it's got almost like a point at the top and then that nice curved shape on the bottom so just a little different and then put a little bit of acrylic on that circle that we made for the tea for the lid and then put that little handle for the tea lid on top of that, that little sphere and just attach those together with more of the eggplant and then um, once again I'm going to be using that same color and making the spout and the spout at this point is extremely thin and delicate but I know I'm going to be picking it up in a moment so I did want it this way and then I was looking at this and I realized that the hole in the top of my teapot was way too big so I'm going to go through and this part was tedious and time consuming and not so fun and just going around in a circle adding little bits of acrylic around and around until the hole was small enough that the lid of my teapot would not just collapse into it. And like I said, this took some time and it was a big hassle. And I would recommend trying to make sure that your hole wasn't quite so large originally, just so that you could avoid this step. But you just put down a bead that's relatively firm and then go around and push your brush up so that it doesn't just sink in, so that it kind of builds in and don't try to do too much of it at a time do it little bits and little bits and then using that same bit that I was using before my e-file I'm going to go through and smooth out my like the bowl of my teapot make sure that that's nice and smooth and everything looks good and look at it from all angles and make sure that it is nice and symmetrical and looks round from different views because this is a 360 degree design so you do see everything from every angle so then I'm going to be attaching the handle of the teapot and the whole time I was making this in my head I was singing the I'm a little teapot song and I could not get it out of my head and it was driving me absolutely bananas. It was, yeah, it was not good. So then I'm going to be thickening up the little handle and really securing it to the teapot with some more acrylic, just making sure it looks nice and smooth, just like that, going through. And, like, and you can just add little bits of acrylic here and there to make sure that that looks symmetrical and smooth as well. And then I'm going to be attaching the spout on the exact opposite side of that, holding that in place. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing too much of this at the um, at this point. I'm just going to be really securing it in place, but not thickening it yet. I will do that in a moment. That I'm going to wait on just a little bit. So I'm going to add some acrylic to the edge of the hole on top of the teapot, and then set down the lid. And so then I have the wire bent for my spout of tea or my stream of tea I'm going to glue the end of the wire into the spout so I'm going to glue that as far into the spout as I can and then I'm going to cover it with acrylic once that glue has set so I'm just gonna so you're you want the wire to go as far into the teapot because that's going to add as much strength as you can get it because you want to make sure that the wire just doesn't go in a little bit it's not going to pop off 
and then add acrylic to the other side to make sure your spout has the right shape and is nice and strong and all that good stuff. And so then I'm going to be filling in my teapot with some brown color gel. You could also do this with acrylic, but I think that gel, if you have it on hand, is a better route to take. So I'm just going to fill that in and cure it. And then I'm going to be painting the wire with that same brown color gel just so that it looks like it's tea pouring down. And don't overly smooth out your gel. Leave it almost kind of like it's drippy because that'll make it look like it's a liquid more so. And so then you're going to have to cure it again. And I would highly recommend either having a lamp that doesn't have a bottom on it or having one that's really good for pedicure, something that's got some height on it so that you can easily set this nail in without it getting too tall to cure. So then I'm going to be painting a little design on my teapot with some gold paint. Purple and gold are, that's like one of my favorite color combinations ever, The especially like a deep purple and then a really metallic gold. They're just, it's so striking and it's so pretty and this is a teapot that I would love to have in my collection. So the design I painted on here was totally random. I had no plan at all. I just started painting it and I really like the way it turned out. I started with like a little scallop around the edge and then just a little crosshatch pattern on the side and then some little polka dots just like that around that crosshatch pattern and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And so this gold paint I have is super metallic and so once you put that uh, gel sealer on it in a moment it's really going to contrast well with the purple or the eggplant colored teapot. Like I said, I'd love to have this in my collection. I love teapots. I have one that's cat shaped. I just got one for Christmas that was cast iron. That is like my, I love tea. Like I said, it's one of my favorite foods, which is a weird statement because it's not a food, but it's, I drink tea almost exclusively. So with dark purple, I'm going to be adding a complimentary little pattern on my teacup. So I just did the little scallop pattern like I did around the top of the teapot. Just not too much, there's not as much space there so you can't do as much, but just a little bit and then add a couple little polka dots just around that edge there too. And so then I'm going to be gel sealing, gel sealing it, but I'm going to do that in uh, two stages. So the first time I went over the teapot and this, the stream of tea. So just go over that and then go over the stream of tea. Do not bother with the cup at this point. You don't want your gel sealer to start to run, so just do a couple parts at a time. You could even do like a side and then another side, but just I would recommend doing it in two stages. So then go over the tea that's in the cup and then the teacup itself with some gel sealer and then cure that again. So now I put down some clear gel along the cuticle of the nail and then I picked out all kinds of different sizes of half pearls and rhinestones and all things like that and I know that I just went off, I'm kind of going off camera here a little bit which I apologize, um, but I just put down rhinestones, it's pretty self-explanatory and that is it, cure that again so that those rhinestones are going to stay in place and that is all. So I hope you like this, it is, so if you're a tea fanatic you'll love it, otherwise it could also be coffee, if you can make coffee pot instead. So that's it, share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you in my next video, bye!